Hi, it's Andres Aya with Aya Percussion, coming to you from Houston, Texas. We are going over the Texas All-State Timpani music. We're going to be starting at measure 19. We have our E, G, C, and E tuning. I'm using uh, medium hard mallets. These are the innovative BT5s. We are feeling this in one. It's in 3-4, dotted note equals 68 to 70. But I'm going to be going slower since this is the tutorial. I'm going to go about 55, so I put it on 55 and put the triplet on. So we're thinking one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm going to put a little more weight on beat ones, but this opening section is pretty straightforward. So let's just kind of work our way through here in four measure phrases. When there's an opportunity to alternate the strokes, let's do it, and then just use our doubles when necessary. I really wouldn't do alternating on the very first two measures because your fast notes are going to come on the cross strokes. But when you're doing quarters straight across, you can kind of move as you go. We start by descending, right, right, left, left. I'm choosing to double since I can kind of stay in right hemisphere, left hemisphere, and trying to get good hit spots. Now, even though I'm mezzo forte, I'm going to be trying to get a nice piston stroke so I can hear the articulation from the drum. One, two, four measures. One, two, three, one, ready, and go. Two again. One, two, three, one, red and go. Okay, really see no need to mute at this point. So let's take the next four measures. So again, very straightforward here. When we get to the roll, really make sure you're playing with the appropriate speed where the 23 is going to speak uh, and not stick out too much. Make sure you watch your hit spots. A lot of high schoolers don't pay attention to their hit spots on the 23 inch drum and you're getting kind of a harsh sound. So make sure you're getting a nice soft sound using legato strokes on these rolls. Listen to the drum and feel the drum and try to find the speed that speaks. Here we go. One, two, three, one, ready, and go. Again, I'm alternating down the drums on those quarter notes. One, two, three, one, ready, and go. Now I feel Whenever we get to a longer note value on timpani, I want to hear that note speak. So I am going to mute at the end. Right, left, right. I want to hit that 32. I'm going to go ahead and mute this 29 so I can hear this E ringing over. Okay, so let's try that with the mute. One, two, one, two, three, one, ready, go. about these two notes are sliding over to mute these two because they're not going to be really ringing that much anyway. All right, let's look at the next four measures. So this is measure 27. We have this motif rhythm. One, two, and, and one, two, and, and one, two, and, and dotted notes. So I want to make sure that these rhythms sound nice and even, even though we're going to be changing the stickings. So right, right, left, left, right. And then I'm going right, right, left, right, left. So I got to get over to the left side. Then I'm going to finish right, left, left, now, because this E is going to be ringing over, again, I'm going to mute the drum that I came from. Okay, so let's go through that. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, left, mute. And hit with the right hand on the E. Okay, let's try that in time. One, two, one, two, three, one, ready, go. Okay, and we're holding that E for a dotted half note. Try it one more time. One, two, three, one, ready, go. Okay, 